Hooray for art things! What? A dragon? Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This week is an actual dragon. <laughs> and not like, oh, there's a dragon in the picture, but that's not the theme. No, we have a dragon, a full dragon, and it's all to its lonesome, and it takes the center stage. <laughs> Yay! It's been a while since I've drawn one. So this is a continuation from the little illustration scene I did last Friday of the birds and the dragon at the bird bath. This is the blue jay dragon in more detail. I wanted to explore what it looked like in more detail and see how I would interpret a blue jay dragon and this is how I did it. So. This picture took me three tries. This is the third coloring try. I started it in gouache the first time, didn't like it. Started it in marker and grabbed the wrong color for shading. Oh man, not good. So this is try number three. <laughs> and I'm really happy with how this one turns out by the end. There's a lot of awkward stage to this picture, but by the end he's He's looking really fly. Ha 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 ha. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's not desperately a whole lot about this piece just because, like I said, I just wanted to explore a more detailed version of the Blue Jay Dragon and so this is just basically a character study for him. I would like to do more of him in different poses, maybe like a little girl. A little female for him, a little friend, maybe something more cutesy. Uh, I don't think I will go full scale epic dragon drawing simply because I think this is pretty much my norm. This is kind of how I default into dragons in detail. So the only way that really I could go would be uh, cutesy, which is fine. I like cutesy, love cutesy dragons. So I might see if he looks really good as a cutesy dragon. And just maybe one day make stickers of cutesy dragons. The scaling looks really awkward until I get it in. It looks like I gave him like a polka dot disease, but in the pencil, every time I <laughs> did it all together, it just really lined up. I didn't want it to line up, I wanted it to look more random. So I put random dots around the page that I would have to work around to take out some of the uniform feeling. Some of you who follow me on Instagram have seen me practicing dragons in my sketchbook. And here he is, the grand Daddy, you have all that recent practice. This is my calling. I need to draw more dragons. I feel like this is rambling, so I'm going to leave the voice over here. Let you guys finish watching the epic coloring that I do. And I will see you all next Friday in my next video. Bye!